My name is Michael Bond. I'm a senior principal with Studio 111, and I'm the principal in charge of the Santa Ana Arts Collective. So this building was built originally in 1965 by the firm Langdon Wilson. It was designed as a Class A office building and performed that way until uh, a few years before we started to work on the development. By the time we got to it, it was a tired building. Most of the building was empty. The ground floor retailer, which was a bank, was gone. And it really was just pulling the energy out of the Main Street corridor. The development team behind Santa Ana Arts Collective is the City of Santa Ana, uh, Studio 111, architect and designer, Westport Construction, Meta Housing Corporation as the developer, and then financing with the State of California and the County of Orange. When we were first approached by Meta Housing in partnership with Studio 111 in June 2015, this was a profoundly different product that we were, uh, we were excited to, uh, to hear about, to learn about, and to be a part of. The idea and concept of converting a commercial building in our city to affordable housing was profoundly different, was uh, quite unique to all of us as city staff. We were in a uh, bind of finding and identifying new affordable housing opportunities in our city. So this was a product type that uh, grabbed all of our attention immediately. So the city brought two concepts together. They formed an arts and cultural commission while also establishing an adaptive reuse ordinance. This property brings both of those ideas together. We brought the arts in to a underutilized, older, dilapidated building that was underperforming and we repurpose that with new, vibrant housing for artists that will activate the community. This project is within one of our adaptive reuse uh, incentive areas. The adaptive reuse incentive areas in Santa Ana uh, fall within an ordinance that was specifically crafted to address underutilized commercial structures such as this one. Santa Ana Arts is 58 units of housing purposed for uh, working artists with 15 of those units set aside for homeless or formerly homeless as supportive housing. And what makes this project different is how we incorporated the community space. So in addition to having all of the traditional classrooms, community rooms, we added special artist maker space for the residents to use. They also have individual workstations that they'll rotate through. And on top of that, what we did here that we haven't done before is we brought in an outside professional gallerist to run and operate um, a component of this almost like retail space to really interact with the local artists in the community and bring the outside arts in. Some of the great amenities on this project are a public art gallery that opens into the corner plaza at 17th and Main. There is maker spaces beyond that in addition to yoga studios, sound rooms, and then there is a community room that opens into the courtyard between the townhomes and the existing building. Well, I think there are a lot of things that make this project exceptional, but really when I think about it, it checks all the boxes. It addresses everything that the community was after, starting with the adaptive reuse of an older building that was underutilized. And what we did is we repurposed that for artists with a, um, a set aside for homeless and formerly homeless. Um, it's public-private partnership that brings the, the county, the city, the state, and the federal government in to really make all of this a reality. I think what's most exceptional about this project is that it truly was a trendsetter and leader in Orange County. Santa Ana was Orange County's first city to have an adaptive reuse ordinance. And although we did largely borrow from what LA had crafted a few years prior, uh, we found that we needed to adapt it to Orange County and certain uh, development codes that make Orange County truly a unique environment that we all know. <laughs> um, nonetheless, what makes it exceptional is that it successfully went through that process and didn't just survive that process, but really demonstrated that that process is feasible and viable and can be applied to other buildings in this area. This is a true example of a public-private partnership with the public agencies taking the lead to get this project started. And that started with the City of Santa Ana. They're joined by the Housing and Community Development Department from the State of California, along with the County of Orange through their Special Needs Housing Program. On top of that, we had the Affordable uh, Home Loan Bank 
with a loan in with our private partners of Bank of America and California Community Reinvestment Corporation. So the one word for me that describes this project is restorative. It's restorative to the community by bringing new life and the arts culture to Main Street. And it's also going to be restorative for the residents living within this development. It's an opportunity for them to restore their lives and to build up their families and their life as they move onward. If I were to describe this project with one word or phrase, it would be the very tall vaulted concrete ceilings. I would describe the Santa Ana Arts Collective as reinvigorating. It's reinvigorating for so many reasons. Not only did it breathe new life into a building that was so underutilized for so many decades, but it also reinvigorated the lives of so many people that call this uh, community home. Um, it provides a stable place for living, an address that can be used on job applications, an address that can be used when applying for um, social support programs. It provides a place for people to not just call home, but also express themselves for who they are as artists in the community and places uh, within this mixed use community that really support that occupation, that profession of being an artist all in one. Uh, but lastly, it's, it's reinvigorating because at the end of the day, it provides a roof for so many families that call this place home and can simply cook a meal together, do homework together, and really bring a uh, sense of stability and dignity to the people who call this community home.